that you're giving me credit. What's up, y'all? It's Spicy AF. It is Psalms West third birthday well may 9th kim kardashian celebrated the birthday with the family and i don't know if this is kim and the kardashians but page six once again drag kanye so let's get into it okay guys so here's the article that was written by page six today may 6th it says kanye west goes to tokyo with shaney jones mrs son psalm's birthday party and it says Kanye West and his Kardashian lookalike girlfriend jetted off to Japan while the real Kim Kardashian threw a birthday party for the ex's son. <sighs> they just got to be disrespectful, don't they? See, they do a lot of that disrespect and shade and throw a lot of that shade. But when it's thrown back at them, they like to play the little pussy victim, right? Shaney Jones posted a photo to her Instagram story Thursday of herself cuddling up to West as they stood together and overlooked the tree line whatever that says street in tokyo the heartless rapper 44 and you notice they why why heartless rapper 44 dressed in an oversized black and white plaid button down shirt while the model 24 went with an all leather look featuring a jacket with a large white design on the back what's the point you know what i'm saying eagle eye fans also spotted Wes and jones out and about exploring the city including the streets of shibuya Jones' Instagram story came right before Kardashian 41 posted several photos and videos from her and West Sun Psalm's third birthday party Thursday. He's so cute. He looks so cute. He looks like Kanye. <laughs> they all look like Kanye except the um, shy, the little girl. The elaborate hawk themed celebration included a large green ballroom or balloon walkaway entrance, a green birthday cake with a hawk fist coming out of it in a green do-it-yourself slime station among many other activities west himself has yet to post anything to social media regarding the couple's trip or his son's birthday he has not been active on instagram since a brief suspension in march and last tweeted in 2020 and let me interject kanye pro baby props to you i'm glad you didn't post all your power back all your power back because these people they can harass and they can antagonize behind the scenes so much so that Kanye goes to Instagram and, you know, he tries to look at page six. He tries to come out and he protects himself. He comes out, he speaks his own narrative and he tells what really happened because he's the one, right? He's the one that's taking the heat. So what's wrong with me defending myself? But they got him suspended, right? But then you got page six with their shade, the heartless rapper. He has many more songs, but why you choose heartless? Because you you shady and like I said it's underlining racism. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all get sick of hearing about it until a George Floyd situation happened. Then you look exposed and now you try to be on the side of you know the black people and and you against it. Cause now you you would look you would look stupid and you would look racist if you didn't, right? But it's moments like this when I call it out because I see little subtle remarks. When you get that opportunity, y'all always want to do that. You always want to try to down somebody Kanye has been saying the whole entire time it's about his kids and when Kanye get disrespect from Pete y'all not coming out with an article dragging Pete when he puts what you'll do is you'll defend Pete and say well Kanye called him skeet and had him in a video yeah well he he didn't attack kids Pete Davidson said some shady, very disgusting things about kids. And Page Six was not going to defend Kanye, was they? No, they wasn't. They wasn't. But they want to continue to drag. That's why people think that it's the Kardashians that's behind this particular social, this media form, format, whatever, news media. Yeah. So they're basically trying to make it like Kanye didn't show up to the boys party. But remember what happened with Shy with Chicago when it was her party. Kanye went on Instagram because he had to defend himself. He was not able to go. They had security. They stopped him at the door. They didn't give him the address. He was trying to be active in that situation. He was what he do in turn. He embarrassed himself. He felt really stupid. You know, he felt embarrassed, belittled, degraded because he's the dad and he's not invited. So so much so that he has to go out on social media before they started this mess. They doing right here like they do on page six. I'm glad Kanye didn't go. And like I said, I stand with what I said until you give the man respect as a father and listen to him as a man. 
then he should not be involved. I wouldn't care. So I just hope the best for Kanye. I actually do hope the best for the for Kim Kardashian and for those kids. But at the same time, you need to respect him. You need to respect the fact that he was there. And and you you didn't want him around, but so now that he's not around, what you got an issue? That's all I got to say on that.